We had this great idea to do the paint your spouse challenge at 1035 at night while the kids are sleeping. It's like a Tuesday or something. And we're going to do these like, what would you rather do questions too, to kind of make it fun as well. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. So let's get into it. So for clarification, we are painting each other's faces, kind of like when you're at one of those amusement parks and you sit down <laughs> and we got all of these colors. Of course, Sam is already like separating the colors. I'm just going to be <laughs> grabbing them as we go. And, and I already got it on my shirt and my hair. Yeah. Love that. We'll add that to the pile of stained <laughs> clothes. I mean, I don't know what is with her. She's got so many clothes that have stains on them and I just can't get them out. So the first question is, would you rather have unlimited have an unlimited gift card to your favorite restaurant or your favorite shop? Ooh. Well, what would be like a shop? Would like a shop be like... Like a store that you shop at. <sighs> I would, would shop be? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I've never heard anybody say, oh, yeah, I'm going to the shop. Anytime somebody says they're going to their favorite shop, it's like they're going to, like, an auto mechanic shop or something. I don't know. I think I'd rather have an unlimited gift card to my favorite shop. Yeah. I definitely know she would rather have an unlimited gift card to, like, that store Aries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she could buy more shirts and I think I would rather do my favorite restaurant reason being is because that we have to eat every day right and I'm not the kind of person like I could literally eat the same thing every day if I could I can I would go to the same restaurant I don't know if there's anybody else out there but like no I need some kind of variety I don't mind eating the same lunch every day even it can even be the same dinner the same ice cream the same dessert so put me down for a favorite restaurant, unlimited gift card. This is already not going good. <laughs> so I have a white canvas here and with white paint. Like what is the point? Well, you can mix the white paint with other colors to make different colors. Would you rather never see your best friend again or never speak to them ever again? Um, That's a good one. Probably never see them again because there's nothing worse than being around somebody and you're like friends with them but you're not like speaking to them does that make sense would you rather never see your best friend or speak speak to them so like would you rather never see them ever again i'd rather never, never them? see them yeah because I'd what's say, the point right i it's would like, say i'd rather never see them because no i'd rather never well speak to them on the phone or speak to them in person because like my best friend, we don't really talk on the phone that much because we live so close. It's going to be so I hard know. to do. I am not one for multitasking. <laughs> Would you rather be rich or famous? Ooh. I feel like if you're famous and you're rich. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of famous people that don't have money. Yeah, I guess I'd rather be rich. Yeah, and like, what is rich, right? Everybody, you remember back in the day, if you had like a million dollars, I mean, granted, a million dollars is still a tremendous amount of money, but mm -hmm. like, if you were like remotely close to having like a million bucks, like, you were like automatically a rich man. Like, if you won who wants to be a millionaire, you got like that million dollars, <laughs> they were like, okay, yeah, that guy's rich for the rest of his life. Would you rather phone a friend or what was it, ask an expert? It was ask the audience. Phone oh, a friend oh. and 50-50. And oh, 50-50. I don't know about you guys, but I always thought that the ask the audience was the best option, but they always Why? used that one first. I always thought that was annoying because anytime they asked the audience, it always was like overwhelmingly, like they knew. And I kind of didn't like how they did phone a friend. Like, did you notice they always picked up? Like, I don't think there was ever an episode where they- They were on stage <laughs> And you, and you remember back in the day, like, you can hear them, like, typing in the background of their computer. <laughs> yeah, they were totally looking at the answers. What was the original question? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have to be rich or famous? I mean, I think What's I... What's the point of being famous if, like, if you can't do anything with it? So, would you guys consider me, and I'm not even saying this in any kind of way of boasting or bragging or anything, but, I'm looking like, at your eyes to draw them. Would you consider me, like, famous in regards to, like, people are, like, stopping us at the grocery store wanting pictures. People are saying, oh, I've never met a famous person before. And, I mean, I'm humbled by it and I'm, like, you know, grateful to, like, talk to anybody and to take pictures and stuff. But, like, what is considered 
famous. Like many of you know that I have over a million followers on TikTok, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm famous or not. Like I always thought somebody famous was like somebody you saw on TV, like, or, like a celebrity. or like a movie, like a celebrity, like somebody that's like on the red carpet. That in my opinion is uh, like the definition of famous. So I don't know if I'm famous or not. Right. You need to be famous without being a celebrity. True. Would you rather hop everywhere or skip everywhere? Oh my god. I'd rather skip because hopping yeah. seems like a leg workout. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely rather skip. Oh, right. Remember uh -oh. that trend on TikTok where they were asking people to, like, adults to skip and people didn't know how to skip? Like, yeah. they had forgotten? Uh, yes, that's right. I did see that. You're kind of looking like an elf over here. Would you rather have unlimited supply of makeup and skincare from your favorite brands or own your own? Home by the age of 30. Ooh, well, just skip that question. Well, we are, in case you're wondering, we've owned three houses. Yes. We bought our first house in 2016. Let me see your eyes. We uh, moved in, we renovated it, we lived there for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then during the middle of COVID, we had this bright idea to sell it. Well, and, because I was pregnant and we wanted yeah. a bigger house. And I don't know why, but like as soon as people like start getting pregnant or yeah, like, like oh, we, need a, we need a bigger house instead of just like making what you have like work. work yeah. We moved into a bigger house and the thought of it was wonderful and the neighborhood was great, but it just was like, we were only there for like eight months. It wasn't our people. It wasn't our people and it was a great community. It was one of those communities and I, you guys are gonna think I'm lying. We were paying $420 a month in just HOA fees. Mm -hmm. And they had, let me just tell you what they had and I'll let you be, to be the one to decide if it was outrageous or not. So the neighborhood was uh, gated 24 hours a day by a person and there were people driving around in carts and stuff, making sure everybody was good. But the big part of why it was so expensive because the neighborhood had a natural spring in it with a beach and each neighborhood, there was like seven neighborhoods in this one community and each neighborhood had its own like spa, community center, tennis courts, pickleballs, like mm -hmm. it was like its own like world in there. Uh, but like- But the, their HR is so strict. They were so strict y'all. Like I tried taking out the trash and they told me that I had to get up between five and 7 a.m. <laughs> to take out the trash and all the trash cans had to be bear proof because they had a, a hard time with bears. Mm -hmm. And I remember like being threatened with like HOA fees if I did not have the correct trash cans. Smile. And I didn't make the face long enough. So I think I'm just gonna do the whole person. <laughs> Would you rather your mom be Kim Kardashian or Kris Jenner? Oh my God, my mom. Mm -hmm. I'd rather her be Chris Jenner. I'd say Chris. I'd say Chris Jenner because I feel like, like if your mom is good looking, that's probably like a hard life. <laughs> right. Not saying Chris Jenner is beautiful, but like yeah. And also, Chris Jenner is she gets stuff done. Yeah, I don't know like them like. I mean, I just know them from TV and mm -hmm. from watching them on TV. It looks as if Chris Jenner was like the one to like motivate everybody and like kind of guide them and but again i could be like so wrong like i don't know these people worth that i'm so i would say chris jenner would you rather have super slow internet or low phone battery oh my god low phone battery i mean there's nothing yeah. worse like nowadays being somewhere what's the point of using your phone if it's <laughs> slow internet right i just don't understand like we're in the year 2024 and how there's like bad cell phone reception anywhere. Eliana's gymnastics, there's no service. And I just don't get it. I'm not like being like, oh, like I just don't understand like how like there's not coverage. You see these commercials and you know how they like show you the map and it's like, oh, this is what everything is covered. And it's like everywhere, but come to find <laughs> out, like, you know what I mean? Like it like literally shows the map and everything is supposed to be covered, but. <laughs> I don't know how to draw your hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is going downhill quickly. You guys, I'm losing it here. I was doing so good. Would you rather live inside your favorite childhood movie or book? Ooh, my favorite childhood movie because I didn't really read my entire life. <laughs> like I, like I don't know. I wasn't one for reading. I'd always had a hard time reading. I don't know if there's anybody else that like 
you know, struggled tremendously with reading. I still kind of do, like I read a book and I read a couple paragraphs and like I already like forgot about the paragraph that I just read and I have to like reread it. I would say favorite show or movie. And I would like love to have been a part of. What was your favorite childhood movie? I think that, I mean, it was either Dumb and Dumber, it was oh either God. Tommy Boy, it was either Happy Gilmore, a cable guy, any of the ones that Sam did not watch <laughs> growing up. I liked like all the Disney Channel original movies growing up. That was my jam. Like, uh, what was the, like, Liz McGuire. Actually, my kids are obsessed with watching Cheaper by the Dozen. Oh my I loved God, that movie when I was little. So, we have this car now, a Cadillac Escalade. Now, now that I'm talking about it, people are like, oh, you went out and bought a Cadillac Escalade. Mm -hmm. Y'all, let's be honest here. So, the Cadillac Escalade is a 2009. It has 235,000 miles on it. I traded my Honda 2011, a Honda Accord and $2,500 or something. Like it was like, yeah, not this like. <laughs> out like buying like a new Escalade. It's I, new to us. It's new fun. to us and it has plenty of space. Like that's what we needed. We just needed a bigger car and it didn't really matter like really what it was. I mean, my neighbor happened to have a 2009 Cadillac Escalade and it just kind of he was out. trying to get rid of it. But you know, there's these people on the internet. I'm sure some of you are watching. It's like pushing this narrative. Oh, like he's driving an Escalade now. Like, you know, like <laughs> look at him. He's sold out. No. I wish. But he's anyway, driving like a brand new Escalade. Cheaper by the dozen. Yeah, I know. I actually think the older Escalades are nicer. But yeah. This but has. It has a DVD player. It has a six. Not Blu ray. It has a six disc DVD player, not Blu ray. Yeah, Blu ray doesn't work. <laughs> right, we try putting in a Blu-ray player and it's like not doesn't know what to do. And <laughs> Why so, do you look like a wolf in my picture? Cheaper by the Dozen is one of the movies and the kids are obsessed with it and especially the song track. Some 41 is on the song track. No, that's Simple Plan. Or Simple Plan. I'm just a kid and my life is a nightmare. Yeah, and I'm so just a kid. So you got my three-year-old and six-year-old saying, I'm just a kid <laughs> and my life is a nightmare. They say that all the time and I'm like, oh lord. I feel like I'm done, but I'm gonna, what? Keep, I'm gonna keep painting and chatting with y'all. How are you done? <laughs> I mean, I'm not like the artiste, but I'm like really enjoying talking to y'all and just kind of like painting this. <laughs> How are you done? Would you rather live in a peaceful tropical island or a bustling big city? Ooh. So I think that's situational. I've always loved a city life. Mm -hmm. uh, we love Philly, we love New York City, but I think it's like somewhere in between where we like really fall in. Like we're like outside of Orlando now. Uh, we lived in Orlando, like being close enough to a city to like where we can mm -hmm. drive to. Like now, like we're like an hour away from like Disney World and like that city uh, over there. And like we're close to the beach, but like I love a good tropical vacation, y'all. Like, yeah, but I don't know if I could live on it. Like a, no. But I like, cause we like to like do a lot of things and right. like, activities and stuff. And I feel like if you were on like a peaceful tropical island, it would just, there wouldn't be a lot of stuff to do. Right, I mean, some people are cut out for it. Like let's just live on a tropical island. Yeah. Or the Florida Keys, like I don't know if anybody's ever lived there or vacation there. We vacation We there. love it there, we go there every year. And the people that live down there, I mean, I I, I like to think that they love it. Um, yeah, and I feel like you definitely can't live there unless you have a boat. <laughs> right. We, yeah, you definitely need a boat if you're going to vacation to yeah. the Keys because the Keys doesn't have like really any beaches. There's like a few, but they're not known for the beaches. They're known more so for like the like things to do on the water, like whether it's jet skis or boats, fishing, glass bottom boats, scuba diving, snorkeling, stuff like that. Would you rather have to start a new job every year until you retire or have one job for your entire career? So yeah, That's an I mean, interesting question. Yeah, put in the comments like have you guys like worked at the same place forever or have you switched jobs? I mean, me personally, I've worked at a bunch of different places, a bunch of different bosses, different careers, and I was able to kind of like experience what like everything was like, right? Like I like retail, sales, mm -hmm. hospitality. And there's some people that work in the same field uh, their entire time and they don't really get to experience what it's like 
doing X, Y, and Z. They're just mastered the craft of what they've been doing. So probably like different careers, if that was the question. It was, would you rather start a different job every year? Yeah. Or have one job for your whole career? I don't know about y'all, but can we all agree that people don't change jobs, they change bosses? <laughs> like, yes. you know what I mean? For sure. I've changed jobs a lot because I could never stay at one place. I couldn't do it. Like, I need to, like, change it up, go to... I do ultrasound for those of you that don't know. Different places have taught me different things. I've learned OB at some places, peds. I've learned vascular. And I just feel like if I was at the same place, my whole career would be so boring. Right. Like, I need a little bit of diversity. I like meeting new people also. And Sam has worked at also, like, several different kinds of hospitals. Like, some that are busier than others. Mm -hmm. Some that had, like, worse I've cases. I've worked the night shift. Right. I've worked the weekends. And if not, I've worked the day shift. And if y'all didn't know, I worked at Texas Roadhouse for a few years. And then I worked in sales selling air conditioning units. And mind you, this was like the most cutthroat, 100% sales, knocking door to door, and people calling our company asking if uh, I can come out and give them an estimate on a new air conditioning unit. And nobody wants to, like nobody is like prepared ever to buy an air conditioning unit. So what would happen is, is that I you know, would go into these houses that in the baby screaming, it's 95 degrees, they ain't got no money for an air conditioning unit. And here I am like offering them a complete system for like $5,000 that they don't have and then they're financing it. And that's always a whole thing. Granted, I made some money and I was, you know, had some success, but it was just like so cutthroat. Like, you know, a line of air conditioning salesmen out front because most of the time when people get like home repairs or get estimates, they call like three or four companies. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they like call them to come out on the same day. So I would be sitting in line in like the driveway or the street, like waiting to go in to these houses. <laughs> and it was tough. It was tough competing with these companies. And then I started working for a uh, medical sales company where I would go to hotels. I would be like more in the marketing part of it and I would do like, uh, I would go to the front desk and our company would bring doctors to the hotel. So like if any of you went to one of the Disney resorts and got sick, so instead of like going to like an urgent care or something, Disney would call our company and we would send a doctor to your hotel room that you'd paid hundreds of dollars for. So then you can be seen by like a board certified doctor in the room. And what my job was like going to the hotels and like, you know, You're in like marketing. marketing, educating the front desk, the managers, security, that like who we are and like who to call. And then I got into bed bug mattress and casement <laughs> sales, which was just like, uh, like what was I doing? I simply went there for more money because Eliana was like, uh, just born mm -hmm. or and I was doing a lot of traveling. It was just like who wants to buy bed bug matches and casements? <laughs> but you know, I did have this like realization when I was working for that company is that you know, you couldn't put a price on like uh, for me like Like how much I'm going to see my family in regards to like what I'm doing for work so I ended up like taking a massive pay cut and started working at Costco because I knew that I would be home certain times. I knew my schedule, mm -hmm. you know, we had a baby and it just pained me so bad that like I was You're like- You're a homebody. A hundred percent. And if like people, and there's some people that are wired differently, like they can have children and go out and travel uh, for work. <laughs> Why did and I make your next so big? <laughs> I feel like I'm like doing all the talking. <laughs> like you're so concentrated on painting. I'm just more so wanting to, this is just how I am. Like, I just want to talk to y'all. But mind you, yeah, I went to Costco and then after Costco, I became a stale bit. This is so bad. You, you look like you should be in a boy band. Would you rather spend your money traveling the world but have few personal possessions or have a really amazing house but never leave your hometown? I don't know, I like traveling. So I like feel like I can't just like stay in my hometown for like and not like see the world. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, what do you think? I don't know because we do. Well, it says you, if you can still travel, we have a good hometown. Yeah, we love it here. Love raising I have, our like, kids here. Have like your dream house. 
Yeah, and in case anybody's wondering, we plan on staying here for quite some time. A lot of people ask us, like, are we upgrading? Are we getting a bigger home? Like, we, Sam and I have been together since 2010, and we have moved probably nine <laughs> times. We, like, we would go from apartment to apartment as yeah. soon as the lease was up. Because they would, they would, like, raise the rent. Right. I never like... understood that. Like, why do they, like, raise the rent? on these places like and like I'm, I'm so grateful that we own our house now yeah. <laughs> sorry but it looks like you can be in the back three points <laughs> um because rent is so expensive uh -huh. like I, it's i don't think we'll be able to afford rent yeah like put in the comments like what if you're renting right now like what is it like we own a house we pay like fifteen hundred dollars a month or so in our mortgage it's like one of those like regular like 30-year mortgages but we were able to put down 20 percent on this house yeah because uh, we did make good money yeah that. like so when we sold our house that i was telling you about that had like the natural spring we made some pretty good money on it and guess who bought our house zillow yeah before <laughs> like, they went bankrupt. before like this like th th i don't know if they're like i think they still like operate to like find a house but zillow actually came out and assessed our house and mm -hmm. bought it and we used those funds to buy this house mm -hmm. we're never moving here until we move on the beach mm -hmm. like we're never leaving here yeah like we want to have a house on the beach that's our dream that we've like, been manifesting for like eight we're years we're trying yes like we're kind of like making our way like we're kind of close to the beach but we want like our backyard to we want to wake up and <laughs> see the ocean correct and we want to like be able to just like walk down on the beach and i mean everybody can have a dream right right have a three bedroom, two bath, and we'll make it work. I mean, I know we'll about, make it work until we move to our dream house. I don't know about anybody else, but I grew up with two other siblings and three bedroom, two bath houses, and we shared rooms, and everything was fine. I mean, I know that's not really the trending thing to do nowadays. Nowadays, it's like you know, let's put each child in their own room that's a thousand square feet and its own bedroom, <laughs> uh, which it's okay. Like if you do that, that's fine. Like I, but I'm just saying, like. That's, you know, is there a right or wrong way? I don't know. I mean, I was in the same room as my brother and, you know, we clashed a lot. He was my older brother, mm -hmm. but you know, it was some camaraderie to that, I guess, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> what are you drawing? <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm so bad at drawing y'all. Like we saw this challenge and like, I was like, oh my God, like I, like, I'm so bad at drawing. Like my five, my six year old is probably has better handwriting than I do right now. What do you guys think? I, I mean, I think nervous. it's pretty good. Sam is pretty good at drawing. I have full confidence. Like she could work at like Disney or Universal and like one of those people that sketches. So we'll see. All right, take a look. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> wow this is good <laughs> i oh, keep my... thinking you look like joey fato from it's from the factory place or insane y'all this is like realistic <laughs> what like where did this come from <laughs> i'm not even playing like this is like one of the best drawings i've ever seen anybody do stop from it scratch. <laughs> Is it good? Okay, so what here Okay, so here's Sam. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I mean I think I got the hair color. I'm so scared. I think I got the hair color down. Does it look like me? Uh Can I look at it now? Yeah, you should look. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I got the arms. I think I got your hair color. <laughs> but I don't know what I was doing with the green mouth. <laughs> well, I got, yes. You do have two of those. I wanted to make sure that was... Is it supposed to be my arm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the mouth? What is the mouth? <sighs> what is this? I don't know. I think I was too focused on talking to our followers and wasn't paying attention to the drawing. <laughs> what is this? What is this? And why am I the color of Dijon mustard? <laughs>
Well, no. I feel like that's like your kind of your hair color. <sighs> the fact that after you saw mine and you were like, okay, I think I got the hair color right. <laughs> Who do you think won the challenge? I, <laughs> I always get the award for most creative. <laughs> most is it supposed to be an abstract painting? I've come to the conclusion that Sam is like Bob Ross and she's been <laughs> painting on her free time. That is the first painting I've ever done. What is this? I mean, I was. What is this? I was distracted talking to y'all. I'm dying. I'm dying on that sword. And I don't even have arms. Yes, you do. You got two arms, two legs, a neck. I feel like I this got this. This is my paint. I'm like mixing skin colors. <laughs> okay. What is this? I was distracted. Oh my god. I literally was crying. I'm, my head hurts from laughing. I was laughing. I I couldn't have air. I mean, this is really good. We're trying to decide like, what, like who that this is. It looks like Lance like, Fast. Yeah, somebody. But like, I was not expecting this. And I look I, like I'm from The Walking Dead. Well, I mean, listen, what doesn't, this? the paintings don't matter, right? What matters is we laughed. Yes, we laughed. <laughs> it was kind of like, these videos are kind of like date night. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> you know, it gives us like these uh, fun, like cute, quirky ideas mm -hmm. to do. I can't. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for videos that we should do, yes. definitely put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Like, we're very open minded mm -hmm. and willing to try different things and new ideas and if stuff. If there's like challenges we, or. We saw this trend online and we were like, we definitely have yeah, to do this. Have to but, do you this. know, we have three kids. It's hard to like, you know have the time to do this so so you know, we like to do it late at night <laughs> late at when night, the yes. kids are sleeping <laughs> and it is fun like spending quality time together yes so any any video ideas you guys have or want to see just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and we're definitely open to trying <laughs> yes. things this is good this is going on the wall in a frame right oh for sure it's a framer this is definitely a framer <laughs> all right y'all thank you all, all right, so much and if you made it this far you're, you're a real, real one, one.